After I tell you how to differentiate the six types of connective tissue proper, I have 10 practiced questions. So when you're looking at connective tissue, you want to think, what fiber types am I seeing? What directions are those fibers going in? And it can also be helpful to look at the type of cells and the quantity of cells you're seeing. So there's three possible fibers, collagen, elastic, and reticular. Collagen is the thickest, elastic is medium, and reticular is the finest. Now I did put colors, but the color is going to depend on what type of stain was used to stain the slide. Collagen and elastic are visible with the most common type of stain that they use as being pink and purple. But the reticular, usually you can't see it because that requires a special type of stain. So looking at the first one, that's the easiest that everyone learns very quickly. That is adipose. You don't have to worry about the fiber types. It's just a bunch of fat cells. So each one of these bubbles is a singular fat cell and the inside is filled with a drop of fat. The biggest problem people have with adipose um, is that people will see simple squamous and think that it's adipose. I'm gonna make a short video about that issue and pin it in the comments once I make it. So the tissue next door, in the background you're seeing kind of out of focus, thicker pink fibers, and in the foreground, these black looking fibers. So this is a real or connective tissue. And the defining characteristic of it is that you have these pink collagen fibers and the black to purple elastic fibers randomly arranged in many directions and there's a lot of open space because a reeler is a loose connective tissue as opposed to a dense connective tissue. And there's also usually lots of these little black dots, which are cells called fibroblasts. Over here, so if you compare these black thready fibers to the fibers that you're seeing in the reeler, you'll notice that they look more like a net and more like a mesh, whereas the areolar ones are very straight. Now those are the reticular fibers. So this is reticular connective tissue, and this is the one where you need a special stain to see it. Now when you're first learning, usually the example they show you is a lymph node, and in a lymph node you have lots of these circular cells. So those circular cells you're seeing are also a hint that this is reticular. So all these ones on the top are loose connective tissues um, because they're not packed as densely. They don't have as much collagen. If we go down to the bottom, now this is a dense connective tissue. So if you see the fibers, they're kind of stained a light pink. This is why you can't rely on color too much because many people would not see that as being pink. But you see that the fibers are all going in one direction and these cells are kind of smushed in between the different fiber bundles. This is dense regular connective tissue. So it's called regular because the fibers are running in one direction. 
next door, we have fibers running in many directions. So you have some fibers running this way, and then this was a bundle of fibers that was kind of coming straight at us, and then it got cut. So we're seeing like the stumps that have been cut. So because these collagen fibers are running in many different directions, this is dense irregular. And over here, now this type of tissue is not very common. Um, and all the examples I have ever seen do tend to look pretty much like this. You're seeing wavy elastic in the foreground, and in the background it's kind of over a bed of um, pink collagen fibers. This is elastic connective tissue. Not to be confused with elastic cartilage, which is an entirely different tissue. Um, if you want to learn about cartilage, I will pin a link in the comments. I have a special video just for cartilage. Okay, so I'm gonna show you 10 practice questions and I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to think about each question before I explain what the correct answer is and how you should have been able to know what it was. Okay, so you should see that we have fibers going in one direction. We only see one fiber type, which appears to be collagen, because it is pink. And sandwiched in between, we see fibroblasts, and that's how you should know it's dense, regular connective tissue. I'm not even giving you 10 seconds because I know that you know when you see all these little bubbles, all these very thin little bubbles, you're looking at adipose. Okay, so you're seeing black fibers that are making a net, which lets you know you're looking at reticular connective tissue. All right, so this very much looks like hamburger meat what you're seeing is fibers going in all different directions that have been cut. That's how you know that you're looking at dense, irregular connective tissue. So you have these black fibers going in all different directions in the foreground and there's kind of a haze of pink in the back that haze of pink is collagen fibers which are out of focus and you're seeing many of these little black circles which are fibroblasts and all of those things should tell you that this is a realer connective tissue Okay, so I cheated. This is not connective tissue. This is simple squamous. Um, and this is how people are going to confuse it with adipose because they see lots of open space and circles and they're like, oh, adipose. But what you need to pay attention to is all those little black specks are nuclei. Um, that tells you that this is multiple cells. It's not just one fat cell. We have multiple nuclei, multiple cells. So this is many little squamous cells making a circle. 
also, you'll notice if you compare side by side, squamous, simple squamous, um, this is in a lung, it's not perfect little circles, they're kind of irregular circles. And if you need more help, like I said, I'm going to make a video specifically just about this. Okay, so you're seeing purple little waves. Those are bundles of elastic. And it's over a background of collagen, which is kind of out of focus. And that tells you that this is elastic connective tissue. So this is further away than you've seen it before, but even though you can't see the individual fibers, you can kind of see the wavy pattern in the background and you've got a bunch of cells here which are smushed. So what you're seeing is fibroblasts smushed in between collagen fibers. So this is your dense, regular, connective tissue. People sometimes um, will see certain types of smooth muscle and confuse it with this. I'm going to make a whole other video about that as well. So once again, black purple elastic over pink. It's elastic connective tissue. And lastly, our fibers going in all different directions. Two different fiber types are visible. Little black specks, which are fibroblasts has to be a real or connective tissue. All right, I hope that was helpful. Have a great day and have fun learning.